barely had a touch. We, we, we spoke about uh, two players before the game, and Messi and Mbappe, didn't we? Well, yeah. one of them turned up today, yeah. the youngster, 19 years of age, to put in a performance like that in front of the millions watching when Messi's at the other end. I think Messi might have fared better if he'd been on the French team, though, <laughs> somehow. Um, the Argentinian team is no, nothing like as strong as teams we've witnessed in the past. Uh, Mbappe, let's start with Mbappe. Didier, astonishing young talent that you know, of course. Um, caused so many problems. His pace, his power, his touch, his technique, everything, his intelligence. Everything, everything makes him the, 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 the best striker, the complete striker, mm -hmm. you know. At uh, 19. At yeah. 19. <laughs> Taking the ball, Oof. going yeah. for it. <laughs> bye bye, Macherano. <laughs> you know, getting in the box and. Bye bye, Rojo. <laughs> you see, this is, this is power. This is power. And and and, uh, this man scores the the penalty, but. I mean, it's an extraordinary football match in many ways because it it had something. Had everything, didn't it? It really did have everything. Yeah. Even even the quality of some of the goals that we've witnessed, um, starting with with Angel Di Maria. Yeah. Um, when Argentina never looked in the game at all, it was their first shot on target. Yeah. It was a truly breathtaking finish. No, for what was it? 35, 40 minutes. They offered nothing in, in, until uh, until this. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a brilliant strike. Yeah. Keeper's got absolutely no chance, and we've probably witnessed two of the. The best goals of the tournament so far, maybe in, in Di Maria and in Pavard, which we'll have a look at in in a minute. So yeah, those those two goals sort of sum the sum the uh, the, the game up. Yeah, and then we went in at half time, and, and Argentina actually took the lead. It seems a long time ago, but it was in the second half mm -hmm. at Mercado, and Messi became uh, the first player to have four assists um, or more than one assist, or in the last four World Cups. Yeah, a bit, uh, a bit fortunate, wasn't it, Pavard? He wasn't. Uh, he definitely wasn't offside. Little, uh, little flick there. Messi, Messi didn't, didn't score, but in the last two goals of his team, I think he's involved, you know, and 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 uh, he's still having an impact. But we expect the other players also to turn up. Just shows you, you can't do it on your own in football, yeah. No, I mean it, it. Really, kind of showed what we talked about after the first half that you know the momentum changed real quick. You know, with uh, Di Maria's goal, uh, going into the locker room, then they're coming out, they're scoring the second one, and we think, oh, yeah. uh, now Argentina's on top of things. But then uh, France turned it around immediately with this amazing goal by Let's have by a look at it. I mean, it Pavard. really I mean, is. It's a beautiful strike um, by a we... right back who's actually in his club playing mostly center back, Pavard. Um, and, uh, um, we saw a similar one, didn't we, with uh, Nacho, wasn't it, in the Spain game, with a similar technique, just the out outside of, of the boot, the right foot, to get the, to get the spin the on back it. To the right back, yeah. If, if Phil Neville was there, he would say, full back to full back. He would be very happy to, 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 to comment this one. <laughs> yeah, beauty, what a beauty. Hey, but what about uh, this angle here? To get, I mean, that, that's, uh, this is go. the angle there. Look there at the spin go. on the ball, the way it starts outside the post. Yeah. And just comes back inside. It's incredible. Magnificent. Shall we have a goal of the fullback competition? <laughs> Let's have a look at Nacho's. Rather similar uh, for Spain against Portugal, the, that, that which was equally as breathtaking the football match. But that's lower, yeah. more power, but there are certain similarities the yeah. spin, etc. Which one do you think? Uh, Pavel, I think. Yeah, it's this one today, yeah. I think I might agree with you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite unusual. Uh, stunning stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then it, was, it became the Mbappe show. A couple of uh, t terrific finishes. Out of nothing, really, in many ways, Jürgen. But it, it kind of proved that Argentina uh, could never control the midfield. Um, they left too many holes open. Uh, there was too much space there for, for the French team to always kind of run into. Um, and here. Excellent skill yeah. from, from him. It's an awkward position for the, uh, for the, for That's the goalkeeper. Too easy, but it, it, midfield. <clears throat> the goalkeeper yeah. should save it, but the, the skill is very, very good from him to get himself in that, to, in that position. The goalkeeper should use his feet a lot more, but it is an awkward position. 
Can I ask you about the goalkeeper, Jürgen? Because you know the number three goalkeeper well, for Argentina. I mean, the whole discussion was when Romero, their number one goalkeeper, got injured before the, the World Cup, obviously. You know, who's going to be the number one? And he never found his number one. Yeah. And he actually then, for Romero, brought in uh, num yeah. as a number three Guzman from uh, Tigres, Monterrey, which I see many times in the Mexican League and an outstanding goalkeeper. Yeah. But he doesn't have maybe kind of the... I don't know, the back, the backup, like it would be a goalkeeper that plays in Europe or maybe yeah. uh, uh, in Buenos Aires at this point, you know. And uh, uh, I felt like, you know, maybe the best goalkeeper from the Argentinian team was not, not used there. at all. It was not in the starting lineup. Yeah. Um, Bappe, he's mm. got another one. Yeah. Hit the Did it? Oh, actually, before that, we've got a little reaction. Didier's, um, you've, I said, apparently. <laughs> Videoing things and posting them on <laughs> social media. I had to. I was so excited. Very excited. Yeah, because the, the the way France has been playing is is remarkable. You know, they conceded goals. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? C'est comme ça, that's it. C'est ça. C'est du football. Allez les bleus. <laughs> Whether you're playing or watching, the passion for the game never leaves you. Yeah, you cannot that's, stop uh, him. You cannot okay. stop him. I think we enjoyed that one, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did. Can. And we were. That was, that was what was happening with his performance. Yeah. We, 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 all four of us were sat here. We're actually giving him a round of applause. Yeah. I mean, when you're looking for a centre forward, obviously you're looking for goals, yeah. but you're looking for the pace, you're looking for the touch, and what we've, everything that we've described. And he delivered all of that tonight. Well, it was except, an incredible except for performance. Pace, maybe. He didn't look that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just I've seen anyone that quick. Let's yeah, look at 4 2. We need yeah. an abacus uh, to keep count here. Uh, it's Kylian Mbappe again, right from the um, goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. Yeah, it was impressive, wasn't it? The way they, way they worked it. Argentina were beginning to, uh, to press, and France just picked them off. With one, two touches through. I mean, it's brilliant, brilliant. This is a goal yeah. um, oh. for the books. Where he. Uh, where, where it starts and where he uh, where he comes from the build-up is impressive. Way to pass, yeah. not, excellent. Not quite the the fourth goal in the 1970 World Cup final, but there are just, just certain similarities. Not, Look where you, know, he you can't compare it as well. That, the, the, the side netting, isn't it? Yeah. Full of confidence. He's got everything in his game. A star is born. Mm. There's no question about that. Yeah. Uh, but we thought that was it. Argentina kept going right to the end, didn't they? Made it 4-3. Yeah, well, I had, they, they, they brought Aguero on, and, and at last they had a bit of a presence in the uh, in in the box. Yeah, and so they put Messi back pass. out, you know, in, in his position where he is. He's creating chances. Obviously, he's finishing them also. But here, you know, his vision, his his ball, tuck, you know, found some find somebody in the box. Mm. It's a good way to in, bow out for Messi. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. Gorgeous passes we've witnessed so many times over the and years. And as crazy as it is, they have another chance and can actually equalise it. Yeah, Which, the, yeah. As crazy as Can it you is. imagine if that equalised there with two, <laughs> two goals in injury time? I don't know about you at home, but we were all standing up screaming <laughs> and shouting.